It's another day. It's a beautiful day. And it's another day for an adventure. <laughs> and not too far away, we're stopping for a large. Hmm. You see lots of trees. Lots of bases of trees, too. But no large cache. Oh, there it is. Well, that was very cleverly disguised. Nice, and it's called a concrete cottage. The cache owner placed this one for weary travelers on the way. And we're pretty weary after our long trip. So we're really glad to get this one. And this is a premium cache. Premium only caches offer access to thousands of additional geocaches all around the world. Personalized statistics, maps, charts, graphs, streaks, grids, and more. Premium membership includes detailed geocaching statistics such as your best caching day, geocaching milestones, custom maps, challenges, and more. Well, that one took us a while. We kept wandering around and around and how often does that happen to you? You just keep going around and around in circles until finally you go, why didn't I see that in the first place? Oh cool, look, lupins. Found it. Want a pair of glasses? I look like Bob Billy. <laughs> Don't usually find money in our caches, but there's 30 cents. And that's for? Hashtag coins for kids. Back on the road. We've got an adventure lab to do and more geocaches to get. And we're at a total for $3.80. Cents three dollars, no, three dollars and eighty five cents for hashtag coins for kids. When you're flying down the highway and you see a waterfall on the side, and you go, Ooh, waterfall! Then you see on your phone, Oh, we just passed the cash. West on Trans Canada Highway, Ontario 11 North, toward Ada Creek Garden Road, Concession 5 Chambers. That's a lot larger flat pack than we're used to. Well, that's a cool use for uh, some round thing case they used to use to play movies, I think. Hmm, whatever. Let's go check out the water. Nice. Which do you stop for? The geocache or the waterfall? Why not both? Because you know, if there's a good waterfall, there's bound to be a good geocache. Sometimes this is stopping to smell the roses. Gotta stop when you see an engine or steam train. We're currently doing an adventure lab as we drive south, collecting caches as well. And the park here was one of the stops, but it wasn't highlighted on the engine. I only saw it from the distance of Ground Zero and had to come take a look. might ask, how do we choose what geocaches we're going to do? Well, in this episode, it's basically, we're about eight hours from home, about eight hours? Yeah. So the idea is right now is just to get home, because we don't want to get home too late. But what we're doing is I've got CGO running uh, on my phone, 
with a map showing the next destination of the next adventure lab that we're going to. And we just kind of keep an eye on the phone. And when we see uh, geocaches pop up, we'll take a look at them, see how far off the highway they are, uh, whether they uh, might be interesting to stop at. And if there's a big waterway in the middle of it, if there's any big obstruction in the way, like a big ditch or it's too difficult for us to climb, then yep. we just go on to the next one. Yeah, because we don't want it to take forever. We do want to go home at some point, but we do like geocaching and we want to take our adventures to you and we're glad you're with us. So right now, uh, there's nothing on the map. It's just open road to the next adventure lab in 17 kilometers. World's shortest covered bridge. It's in the Guinness Book of World Records. And it's a location for the current Adventure Lab for the Trans-Canada Highway Adventure Lab series that we're doing. We found the bugs. Or they found us. Yeah. In hmm. Tomogamy. Come on down and visit with them. <laughs> oh, he got me. There weren't <laughs> any. There weren't any further north. None. Zero. Zilch. But we found them. Well, let's not let them have lunch on okay, us. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I'm a ship sandwich. So you are. <laughs> <laughs> we're in uh, Gravenhurst, Ontario, and we're doing... We're doing a brand new virtual by Muskoka Pearl. It just came out. Yeah, and we were just visiting with her, and she told us that it just got published. So it's a perfect opportunity because this is the last cache we need to finish up this episode. So we're going to get all the stages here and we encourage you to come out and visit this area if yep. you're around. For this brand new virtual. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take, take you. you? That's cool. Hey, let's get this done. Okay. That was a good one, but boy, we wandered around a bit before we found that one. How often does that happen to you? You just keep going around and around in circles. Would you be quiet? Oh, trucks. <laughs>